welcome to a video series on learning version control with Git. In our last video, we had created a new branch and committed some work there. In this video, we'll integrate this work back into our master branch. Let's look at this in slow motion. We'll take this as our starting situation. We've worked hard and made a couple of commits on our sign up feature branch. In the meantime, the main project has moved on with other changes. We now want to integrate our changes from the signup branch back into the master branch. The merge command does exactly this. In practice, merge only involves two steps for us. First, we have to make sure we're on the right branch, because it's always the current head branch that receives new changes. The second step is just to call the merge command. Here, we let Git know which branch we want to integrate into our current head. Let's do all of this in practice. Let's see where we are. With git branch, we take a quick look at our branching situation, and we see that we're still on our sign up feature branch. Git log reminds us what we want to achieve. We want to integrate this latest add sign up page commit back into the master branch. Because using git log master, we see that this isn't present on the master branch. So let's get going. First, we need to switch to the master branch, because as said before, it's always the current head branch that receives merge changes. With git checkout master, we make master active. Then all we have to do is call git merge with the name of the branch we want to integrate. If we now look at the master branch's history once more, we see that the changes were successfully integrated and are here too. We could now delete the signup feature branch or continue to work and merge again any time later. This is it for now. Thanks for watching and see you in our next videos.